Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back doing another bracket. This is going to be called the Post Tuesday Bracket. Uh, it's going to be my opinions now on teams after Tuesday, uh, which really is only a couple of teams, a couple of variations. This is a serious bracket this time. Uh, no more jacking around, no fun. We've only got a few brackets left, and I'm pretty sure they're all going to be serious. Uh, so we start, and we um, we take Kansas over Austin P, UConn over Colorado, Maryland over South Dakota State, and Hawaii over Cal. Um, I need to do a little bit more research on Hawaii tonight, but I think I like them. I like their guard play. They've got, um, I forget their names, but they've got three guards, uh, and I believe their leading scorer is not one of those guards. He's actually a forward. He averages, I believe, 14 points per game. Uh, so I do, I do, uh, I, I did a little research on Hawaii, and I do like how, uh, what I saw. Uh, we're still going to have Wichita State beating Arizona, and Miami taking down Buffalo, and continue with the trend on the bottom of Villanova Temple. Uh, and so I think I have this side of the, the initial right here, the Sweet 16 is all, is all said and done. Um, I, or not the Sweet 16, the, the round of 64 games have all been done. Um, I don't know why I said Sweet 16. Uh, but the round of 64, all the games in this bracket, I think I am solid on with Kansas, UConn, Maryland, Hawaii, Wichita State, Miami, and Temple Villanova. From here, we're going to be taking Kansas, Maryland. The change, going with Miami to the Sweet 16, moving on from Wichita State. I think I moved back onto Miami with McClellan and Rodriguez, away from Baker and Van Fleet for Wichita State. I think I've moved on. Last night didn't impress me too much. They did close out Vanderbilt, but Vanderbilt couldn't make free, free throws. Vanderbilt couldn't... Um, they, they didn't score for like, they went 0 of 8 in like an 8 minute span or something like that. Um, and they really didn't pull away. Vanderbilt started chucking up threes and kind of playing sloppy near the end of the game. Where uh, Wichita State really uh, increased their lead from like a 10 point lead. Uh, you know, Vanderbilt had to take some chances to, and then it kind of ballooned out. And I wasn't too impressed with Wichita State in the first half. Um, uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I still got a little bit of time to decide. Uh, we're still going to have Villanova playing Kansas in the Sweet 16. Or in, why do I keep I keep messing up the rounds? So the Elite Eight. We still we got Kansas, Villanova, Elite Eight. Kansas taking down Maryland. Miami take, or Villanova taking down Miami. Moving on to the East bracket. We've got North Carolina playing Providence still. And uh, still have Indiana playing Kentucky. I should probably be using my strategy in the video, but... Uh, by not using my strategy. I'm, I'm just moving teams out in my head instead of on the screen. Uh, I still got Michigan beating Notre Dame and West Virginia beating Stephen F. Austin. People are really talking up Stephen F. Austin. I like, I, I love Stephen F. Austin. If they were playing Miami, if they are playing any other number three seed except West Virginia, I would pick Stephen F. Austin. But unfortunately, they're playing West Virginia, so that kind of, that screws that whole dealio up. So... We've got North Carolina playing Providence, Indiana facing Kentucky, Michigan, West Virginia, and Pitt Xavier. Obviously, this isn't set in stone because I'm picking Notre Dame if Tulsa beats Michigan tonight. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then I uh, might do a little bit other. Maybe I'll take Chattanooga because I think, I don't know if I've hopped off of Indiana on in Kentucky, but for this bracket, I am on to Kentucky over Indiana. West Virginia and Xavier. So this bracket is, is holding chalk. Usually they don't. With the one, two, three, and four all advancing, but we will uh, we'll have to wait and see. Still gonna have West Virginia, North Carolina in the East. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? The East uh, region facing off in the Elite Eight. Uh, moving on to the Midwest region, um, I don't think there's many changes here. Uh, Michigan State to play Syracuse, Utah to play Seton Hall, Iowa State to play Purdue. Texas Tech to play uh, Virginia, if it would let me select these. So we got Virginia over Hampton, Texas Tech over Butler, Purdue over Arkansas Little Rock, Iowa State over Iona, Seton Hall over Gonzaga, Utah over Fresno State, uh, Syracuse over Dayton, and uh, Michigan State over Middle Tennessee State. One thing I did want to say, Florida Gulf Coast was very impressive last night over Fairleigh Dickinson, but who knows how really good they are. But they, 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 they did look really good last night. Um... Uh, winning the game by 31 points. I have Virginia and Iowa State facing off. 
and then uh, we'll have Michigan State playing Seton Hall. Now I need to I need to narrow this down quickly. You know, obviously the tournament starts tomorrow. I think roster lock or not uh, bracket lock is at noon probably. Uh, so I'll have to figure this out by then. Uh, whether I'm taking Gonzaga or Seton Hall to the Sweet 16 uh, because that's big. Uh, that's a lot of points I'm risking one way or the other. Uh, as of right now, I'm leading Seton Hall and Isaiah Whitehead, but I could easily switch over to Gonzaga with Wilcher and Sabonis, but I'm not sure yet. So I got Michigan State playing Iowa State in the Elite Eight for this one, taking down Seton Hall and Virginia uh, to get there. Moving on to the final region, we've got uh, Oregon moving on over Holy Cross or Southern, which are one, playing St. Joe's. Uh, we've got... Um, We've got Baylor still facing Duke, uh, and have not what I meant to do, but uh, that is actually what I'm doing, is having Baylor move on. We've got Northern Iowa and Green Bay moving on, uh, or Texas A&M and Texas. Uh, then we have Oregon State facing off against Oklahoma, uh, creating some interesting matchups. Oregon State, Oklahoma, Buddy Heald versus Gary Payton. Uh, Green Bay versus Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa has four players that score in double figures or who average double figures. That's what I like against, um, like in the tournaments of balance, able score. They do have like, they, they do have a leading score. Um, it's a little bit above the pack. I believe he's at 14 points and everybody else is at 11, two 11s and a 10, I believe. Maybe I'm off, but, uh, so in the first matchup, Oregon versus St. Joe's, we've got Oregon. I already did Baylor over Duke. Uh, we got Northern Iowa over Green Bay and Oklahoma over Oregon State, setting up Oregon Baylor, uh, Northern Iowa, Oklahoma, and I've got Oklahoma facing off against Oregon uh, for the right for the Final Four. So we'll start here with Oregon, Oklahoma, still rolling Oklahoma uh, to the net, to the to the Final Four, as well as Michigan State. I'm going to take West Virginia and Villanova from the top. So our final four is looking like Villanova, Oklahoma, West Virginia, Michigan State. Uh, and then we're going to have Michigan State playing Villanova for the national championship in this bracket. Uh, still torn between Villanova. I believe in my final bracket I will go Oklahoma. I believe it's a safer pick uh, and it's not a popular pick. So I believe it's the safer and more pot and less popular. You know, it, it, the Villanova and Oklahoma aren't getting a lot of love from a lot of brackets I see, so it doesn't really matter uh, who I pick, but I believe Oklahoma a little bit safer bet than Villanova, but in this bracket, we will take Villanova to win it all by a score of 69 to 60, 60, let's go 60. Uh, so this bracket, we've got Villanova. This is the post, um, this is the post, what am I trying to say? This is the post-Tuesday bracket after Wichita State beat Vandy and Florida Gulf Coast beat uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys. we got a couple more brackets to go, and then probably maybe tonight I'll do a breakdown of the games, uh, the first four games. Who knows? Maybe it's not worth it doing a breakdown of those or talking about them, giving my thoughts and ideas, but we'll see. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll... <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.